welcome back to Speedy Weekly Hoops Recap. My name is Speedy. Let's talk about what happened this week. Really, this season. We're about at about the halfway point of the season, and I'm ready to look back at my predictions and see how we're looking so far. Right off the bat, my standings predictions. The Nets are in first, so I'll give myself that, but... And also the Suns are pretty high too, the Jazz are also pretty good. So, and the Heat and Bucks, I predicted them being pretty good. The same for the Sixers, I guess. The Mavericks, I'm pretty sure I got their spot right on. Like, I got, if I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I will check the standings. I'm looking back at my predictions and comparing them to real life standings. I predicted the Mavericks being 6th, right now they're 5th. And I predicted the Nuggets being 5th, right now they're 6th. So I was really close with that. Also the Jazz, I predicted them being 3rd, they're 4th. I predicted the Suns being 3rd, being 2nd, now they're 1st. And also in the West, I predicted the T-Wolves being 10th, they're 9th. I predicted the Kings being 12th, and currently I got it right on, they're 12th. I predicted the Spurs being 13th, they're 13th. I predicted the Thunder being 14th, they're 14th. And I predicted the Rockets being 15th, so they're 15th. So far, the way it's looking, I got all my, almost all my play-in predictions right, except one of them, which is a major one, which is the Grizzlies. I predicted the Grizzlies going 35 and 40. No, wait, I predicted they going 34 and 48 on the season. Right now, they're 32 and 16. They're already almost beating that, and it's halfway. I didn't expect the Grizzlies to go off. I didn't expect the Warriors to be that good. And, but other than that, also I didn't expect the Lakers to be as bad. I didn't expect the Clippers to be as bad. And I didn't expect the Grizzlies to be as no, well, wait, no. I, I already said that. I didn't expect the Pelicans to be as bad. But other than that, so far, these are looking pretty decent. I mean, the Blazers, I predicted them to be 7th, but instead they're 10th. And I mean, that's kind of close, but, you know. And then looking at the East, the, yeah, like I said before, I predict the Nets to be first, and they're first right now. The Bucks, I predict them to be second, and they're fourth, but this is a really close race. The Heat, I also got it right on. I predict them to be third, and they're third. I predict the Sixers to be fourth, and right now they're sixth. So, that's something. The Hornets, I didn't, I didn't expect the Hornets to be as good, and I didn't expect the Hawks or the Knicks or the uh what's the third team the celtics to be as bad and of of course i didn't expect the bulls or the Cavs to be as good i had the bulls as the a seed and the Cavs as the 13 seed so i was very wrong with those i even underestimated the raptors i had the raptors as 11th but the closest ones were the nets the bulls the wizards i did predict them to be 10th and they were 9th the paces I was a bit off. And the Magic and Pistons, I was almost like right on. I had the Magic just a bit better than the Pistons instead of the other way around. So that's interesting. And that's how my predictions are looking standings wise. If you look at the award races, I had Luka and Bede and Tatum being top three. In real life, it's Yoke it's something like Jokic, Giannis and and uh maybe K D. It might be K D. It's between those three, and none of those guys are in my top three. I had Curry at fifth, and Embiid is starting to climb up there, but that's the closest I have. Embiid still has a chance to be close to getting MVP, but Luka, Luka's out of it, man. And so is Tatum, by a lot. Then, for Rookie of the Year, I have Scotty Barnes as second, and Jalen Green is first. Jalen Green isn't winning Rookie of the Year, I'm going to tell you that right now. But Scotty, he could win it, so... Kind of close with that, I guess. I had no idea Evan Mobley was going to be this good, man. It, sh it really shows how hard it is to make predictions. And next year, I might try to do better with this. Like, even though it's still halfway through the season, anything can happen, of course. But, like, you know, for the All-Stars, 
it's really confusing because I'm looking at this from my phone, so like, I, it's hard to see. You know what? Uh, let me try and see. Yeah, I cannot understand the word this is. What I do understand is I projected that uh, Ja wasn't going to make it. I projected that Chris Paul might be a snub and that might actually happen in real life. So, I mean, that could be a possible prediction, I guess. I also predict that DeAndre Ayton, Demonis Sabonis, De'Aaron Fox, Malcolm Brogdon, Fred Van Vliet, and Vucevic would all be snubs. And those guys are all probably going to be snubs. But, you know, they a lot of them don't really deserve to make it. I didn't expect Darius Garland to have a breakout year, so that's, you know. All NBA teams, I mean, it's kind of hard to read for my phone, but... I, yeah, I really didn't expect Jokic... I expected Vucevic to be there. Nah, that has to be a snub team. Yeah, no, wait, okay, so I expected Jokic to be second team. Bam to be third team. Rudy be fourth team. And then, er, snub team. And then Vucevic to be second snub. I mean, I guess. You know what, sure. I'll, I guess, well... Embiid and Jokic are still duking it out, so you never know what's going to happen with that. Maybe Embiid jumps ahead of him, and he's in the first team, so maybe I get that right. Tatum's not going to beat KD on this first team, I'll tell you that. Uh, and Jimmy's probably going to be on the first team as well. Or one of the teams, not the first team. Giannis... Uh, bro, it's kind of hard to tell you guys this without showing you guys. I might just show you guys a visual of all my predictions compared to the real life things at the end of the year. But yeah, um, what really matters, I did have, okay, so, sec first team, second team, snub team. I had Mobley as the first guy on the second team. Wow, okay, yeah, that's kind of bad. I didn't expect him to be this good, man. That's all I can say. But yeah, midway point through the season. It's looking... The MVP race is kind of close. So is the Rookie of the Year race. It's between Franz, Mobley, and Scotty. And I actually like it because... I have... My team has a player. A young player who has potential and is looking really good right now. And I've never had that as I've been... Actually... I had it with Siakam, and now technically I have it with OG and Trent, but like not to this level, like no rookie. Literally, you, I've even asked longtime Raptors fans, and they said that there's been last time they had a rookie this good was Vince Carter, but Vince maybe not even Vince would have been like as good. Well, like as a rookie, I'm talking. About. I'm not. I'm not talking about over his whole career. We still have to find out. And, Wait and see to find out if Scotty does this for his whole career. But as a rookie, so far it's looking good. I was going to review the third team. Like the third returns. But I think I'll just make a video for that. Where the actual teams come out. Because voting ended today if you didn't know. And yeah. Um. Now, here's a, now that all that boring stuff is over. Let's actually talk about what happened this week. A lot of things happen, man. Um, I watched. I actually watched a bit more basketball than I did last week, cause I think the reason, the real reason I didn't upload a video last week, one, I didn't really have the motivation to. Like I had time and I could have, but I just didn't. Two, um, what was this? Oh yeah. I didn't watch as much basketball. I really only watched Raptors. And this week you might be able to say the same. But I did watch a bit more of other teams. And I was going to make a video. On Wednesday night it was. Yeah I'm pretty sure it was Wednesday night. After watching the Mavericks versus Raptors game. And oh. It was a torture to watch. It was terrible. But pretty much to get the gist of the game. Luka is a very foul baity player, but he's still really good at basketball. 
um, Sky, the Raptors started shooting dumb shots at the end, and Fred Van Vliet started to cool down. He's definitely cooled down from December when he was in the conversation from All Star. Even though he's climbed up the ranks as time's gone on, he's cool. He's still been cooling down, and it's been weird, like how the worse he plays, the more votes he's getting, and the higher he climbs up, and it's weird. But at the same time, like I, sure, I guess I'll take it. Um. Is there anything else I really want to say? They were taking dumb shots at the end. Scotty Barnes left Luko open for a wide open three, and that really killed the Raptors in that game. The good thing I like to see from the Raptors right now, though, is they're doing, they're making these games against the close, t the good teams, really close. And that's what you like to see. Um. What's another thing that's another thing there are a few actual trades that have happened too. I don't think I talked about this one yet. The Cam Reddish for Kevin Knox trade. Cam Reddish to New York, Kevin Knox to Atlanta. And that was just a way of Atlanta committing to DeAndre Hunter and saying Cause they had to choose between who they were gonna pay. Cause they have a bunch of guys from that draft class, I'm pretty sure. It was DeAndre Hunter, Cam Reddish, Kevin Horder. Because if I can remember correctly, those three were all picked in the same draft class, like 2019. And maybe Kevin was 2018, I can't really remember. But, yeah, it was, they have a bunch of guys who are like around that age who are gonna have expiring contracts this offseason. And that means that they're gonna need to be re-signed. And they wouldn't have enough money to sign both of them, especially after Trey got his bag and John Collins has his bag. Clint has his bag, Danilo has his bag, all these guys got their money, so, you know, it's gonna be rough, it's gonna be rough for, it's good, it, it was, it would have been rough to try and pay all of them, so it's either you lose or free agency, you're trading for a weirdly underwhelming trade package, um, they only got back Kevin Knox in the first round pick, protected first round pick. So it might not even go to them, and that was kind of weird, like, it's Cam Reddish, he has potential, he's kind of young, and he's a good shooter, he played pretty good in the playoffs, and you're thinking, does this mean that the Hawks, did they just, is it that they weren't finding anything better for Cam Reddish, or is it that they just did this, like, I don't know, I don't know, man, like, I wouldn't, if I were them, I would have tried to get something better out of Cam Reddish's value, considering how young he is and how good he is at his age. But, hey, sure. It's kind of funny how the Hawks and Knicks had this little rivalry, especially last year's playoffs, Trey Young and the Knicks. And now Cam Reddish is on, and Cam Reddish and Kevin Knox with side, so you never know, maybe. If Cam Reddish comes back in the playoffs, or in the, if it, I'd want to see a playing game between New York and uh, Atlanta. That would be amazing. Like, get the Wizards and Celtics out of the play-in. I want to see 9 versus 10, Hawks versus Knicks. And I want to see Cam Reddish drop 30 on them. That would be crazy. Like, dropping 30 in and Yeah, that would be crazy. I've also hear heard a lot of people saying that the Duke Big 3 is going to pair up back together and Zion's going to go to New York. Possible, but... I don't really know. I don't really know, bro. I don't really know. Um, moving on. Is there anything else I really want to talk about? Like, it was mainly going to be like a mid-season review. And, I guess talking about the All-Star third returns. But I think I'm going to just wait till the actual All-Star picks come out. For the starters, at least. Maybe even the bench players. I might review them, too. They might be separate videos. They might be the same video. I don't really know. But right now, there's not much else I want to talk about. I mean, the Hornets has been pretty good. And that's nice. But that's about it. I mean, today, the I guess so far, the Clippers lost to the Knicks. RJ Barrett showed out and Cam Reddish has had his debut. That's something, I guess. I mean, I don't know what else to talk about. And I guess the video is kind of getting kind of long anyways. 
I mean, yeah, I don't really have much else to talk about except the Lakers. Last video, last re recap I made, the Lakers were like starting to heat up, and now they're doing trash again, and they're the seventh seed right now, and they're a game behind the Nuggets. But like, we'll we'll see how it goes, and I want to. I'm ready for the. I'm ready after the All Star game. That's when the real competi competitiveness starts, because then everybody's gonna be making a push for the playoffs. So I cannot wait for that, man. That's going to be great. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to talk about, man. I don't really have much else I want to say. So, yeah. Scotty Barnes did have a career night recently against the Wizards. So props to him for that, and that's pretty much it. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share, comment down below tips, tricks, or topics they have for me to talk about. I was I've been planning to do what ifs on this channel for the past year or about 10 months maybe but I haven't been able to do them because I haven't gotten the time to actually record them hopefully you guys can see it in the next month or so but that's hopefully because I'm gonna try and get more consistent on this channel just like instead of just like the, the weekly recaps just uploading videos that you know just are about basketball so yeah hopefully you guys can see that soon and yeah that's it for me today i'll see you guys next time i'm out peace